The next step is to cut the dados for the T-Track. Um, I just want my dados to be slightly deeper than the T-Track, so the easiest thing to do is just set it by my stack, um, check my depth. That should be good, so um, I'm just going to run them through on the table saw. And cut the dados the is to attach our top to our cross slide. Um, I've got it positioned this way so that um, our top slide um, is going perpendicular to where our fence is going to be where the router attaches. Um, so I want my T-tracks running this direction and I still have to cut these to length. Um, so it's important to keep everything oriented correctly. So all I'm going to do is kind of hold it together, pull this apart, flip it upside down, and then all I got to do is attach this t this uh, center section to my top. Um, so I'm just going to line everything up. I remember we started with square stock. Um, if you start with square stock, you can just line everything up, and you're going to be pretty much good to go. Just use a few brads to hold it in place. And then um, I'm just going to screw it down. Put it together and check it for function. Looks like we're going to have to work on that direction a little bit more, but it's working. So there you go. That's the. Uh, two axis base there.